Here's a little demo of the terminal in the OpenShift web console. Cockpit has had a container terminal for a while where you can jump into the container and get a shell and execute commands. So we've refactored that into a reusable widget. It lives here in the Kubernetes UI GitHub um, repository. And it's based on Angular. You can set various um, commands. You can give it a WebSocket factory where it will create WebSockets. You can splice in authentication and stuff like that. And I've integrated this widget into the OpenShift web console. Here you can see the list of pods. And if you want to interact with these pods, um, there's various um, things you might want to do. One is you might want to look at the console output, the log output of the, of the containers in the pod. Number two, you might want to execute a command inside the pod and look at its output. Or number three, you might want to interactively get in and do stuff. This pull request only targets the last use case for now. So let's take a look at a pod. Here we have a pod running one container. And I can bring up a terminal. Terminal widget only connects when I click on this tab. So you can see that we're inside the terminal now. Here's the Ruby app running and so on. I can disconnect and I get a button here to reconnect. If, I, um, if it takes a while to um, connect to the terminal, a spinner will appear up here in the corner. Um, you can see that in the screenshot here. Here's the spinner. So pretty basic. Um, currently, when you navigate get away from this pod page, the terminal will be, um, processes will be killed. But you can switch tabs, of course, and come back, and, and things are still running. Um, perhaps a later pull request will solve the issue of, of keeping a persistent connection open. Um, but we, we do need to solve the use case of running a command inside the terminal first and make sure those, those two cases kind of merge uh, mesh well. Um, let's look at what it looks like when you have multiple containers in a pod. This one has two, and when I click on the terminals, I get two terminals. And now notice that we actually have a nice label, a uh, heading, rather, that tells us about these two different. So these are running BusyBox. Um, here we are, and we can see that these are actually connecting to two different containers. There's different stuff running in each one. And if I disconnect from one, I can reconnect to the other. And of course, as before, if I switch back and forth between tabs, I, I, I keep these processes running. But if I go away, come back, we start afresh. Um, let's look at it, what it's like when it fails to connect. So here I have one I believe that fails. This doesn't have a shell inside of it. It's pure Go application, and Go likes to be an operating system unto itself. So um, when, you, when you go inside, there's no shell. We get back this output from um, the Docker command, and it comes over the WebSocket. We don't actually get these codes. This is as if the, the, the container had produced this output. Um, sometimes it shows up. Sometimes it doesn't, as you can see. So there's a bit of unreliability in the Kubernetes exec logic there, maybe a race or something. Lastly, when we connect to a terminated or failed um, pod, the container is not shown at all. I mean, I'm sorry, the terminal is not shown at all. It's only shown for running containers inside of That's it. I hope you liked it.